I have no expectations or hopes. Oh. And then I. Oh. So our new books have an OC. Not a dude. Tragic. Yeah, she kind of looks like Medusa. I don't think Medusa is in Norse mythology. Yeah. <laughs> Medusa's like a Greek thing. <laughs> Alphonse just melted into sand. He's dead forever. Very much not what I expected, yeah. I will say they, they popped off really hard with the music in the last two book trailers, book five and book six. Oh my. This time, not as much. From that video, in my opinion. It looks like Alpha person to her right is... That's her left, not her right. For the sake of the future, fight your hardest. Okay. How many of the realms are left now that we're in Vanaheim? Are there any left? Book seven, set in the realm of light, will be available to play starting December 6th. This infantry staff enemy looks new, right? <laughs> oh, they all look different. All the enemies have like weird masks on. You see that? Sather will join your barracks as a mythic hero. Oh, she's a mythic hero. Okay. What element Chapter is she? 13. Hold on. It looks like book seven starts with chapter 13. What's all that about? Wait, what? <laughs> wow. I'm intrigued. Oh. So it's going to be like you, you play the finale of the story first and you go back. I hear I think. Sather can cause the foes closest to her in cardinal directions to lose their actions at the start of the enemy phase on odd turns. What? Hmm. Seems like that lets you battle your foes without worrying about retaliation. She's Astra. Which makes sense. She'll make for a trusty ally. Free Stillwater 4. She's a cavalry green mage. Of course, we'll celebrate the uh, release okay. of book seven by holding. I want to go back and look at some of that stuff, but <laughs> we'll do it later. I'll tell you, you can earn the reward. Seven hundred grails, seven hundred toilet paper. There will also be pretty soon. We'll be getting quests. common annuals four. I'm pretty sure. I spy a In a couple months, I think. Here. New castle design. I always like the new castle designs. This one looks good. Fitting for the realm of light, ambiance. This will make for now a then, good stream background. New heroes from the fire and Oh, it's fate. Okay, this okay. I, I recognize Darkfall. Is this Kaldori on the far right here? Oh, okay. I see what's going on. I recognize this one too. Uh, I'm less sure about this one in the middle. Also, this one looks like Nyx, but we know it can't be Nyx. Could that be Reyna? And this one on the far left, it looks like it could be a GHB. Hans? Oh, it's Hans! I thought it might have been that one bald guy, the other bald guy from, like, the Wind chapter. Ascended Ophelia? Oh, shit, you might be right. Oh, it's Dwyer, you're right. Yeah, Kiragi is this guy. There we go. I think we figured out the whole the whole banner. I don't know who else it could be besides Let's Ascended Ophelia. Them. Maybe Ascended Valoria. My father is just perfect. I have to work as hard as I can to catch up to him. Finally, a fellow Subaki appreciator. First up, he's a skilled archer like his father. And War is heck. <laughs> oh, he looks like the the demo or the direct demo. He also kind of looks like he a demo or direct demo. Hans pushed a horse off a bridge, and I can't forgive him for that. We got a lot of fates this year? I don't think we did. I think we've been due for a fate spinner for a while. This is... This attack art is wild. She's got, like, the sun behind her. She's got, like, an entire eclipse behind her. Hans does look like a thumb. is rearmed Ophelia. Oh, rearmed. Oh. I can only imagine her father's a little Oh, she's a red tone. Special spiral four? Oh, fuck. This is a very cool unit, actually. I like Ophelia wearing a eye patch for no reason. Kiragi will join your barracks if you clear Oh, he's the freebie, okay. And Hans will join your barracks if you So that leaves Dwyer as the force our focus. I'll introduce some of the content scheduled Friends? for December. Friends? First, I'll tackle 
the Aether Resort. What could you possibly be doing to the Aether like Resort? New stuffies will appear here. Seeing the heroes having a truly enjoyable time and all these cute items. Micaiah spotted. Relax. You'll also soon oh. be able to host oh. potatoes and oh. mushrooms from the field. I just recently like completed With the, the cookbook catalog. Five star and everything. Will be added to the dining hall. That's gonna add a lot of recipes, I think. Okay. That's cool. There's a nice touch. You have the the very hungry characters here. There's a new item called an otherworld bond. And you can use it to make a hero you swapped with into your ally as a forma. A certain conditions apply, of course. Yeah, so what? You can obtain an Otherworld Bond by buying an Otherworld Bond pack. I'm going to go ahead and give it a try. So what is this? Faye, who should I pick? You can just yoink someone's unit? Ooh, this is a fine hero. Oh, uh, I want to read all that. It's nice to know somebody already thought hard about what skills to select for this format. <laughs> I can't wait to see how they do in battle. So you can just yoink them? During each Binding Worlds event, you can choose one format to become your ally. When they join yeah, that seems kind of insane. Star and level 40 and will come with the skill <laughs> they just straight up <laughs> join your, your barracks. I thought there'd be way more restrictions on it than that. Point applied to their stats. Why is Faye jumping this up and down so quickly? It's freaking me out. Okay, just to be clear, I do not have speed up on. <laughs> she is talking fast. Only one form up per event, and Binding Worlds does run pretty infrequently. Five star level 40, and come with the skills they have equipped. Yeah, you could just get max dragon flowers on them for free. And I'm guessing you can add more later if they increase the cap, like yourself. And it can only be, it can only be units from your, uh, fr from these versions. But like, yeah, you can just take a unit off your friends list and recruit them at plus zero. I'm guessing it's plus zero, right? <laughs> uh, let's see. I don't see merges mentioned here, but it has to be just plus zero, right? Like, there's no way. A free maxed out back to no strings attached. Yeah, you, this is a great way to get save armors these other world bonds are going to be way more expensive than former souls right hey. like they've got to be let's talk about friends we all want more friends right 200 until now yep Lee, i actually didn't think they would ever increase it again like the aether raids chaos season oh there will be seasons where at regular intervals heroes from specific versions of the game will be bonus heroes this is the first season like this will begin at 11 p.m really good time first i'm in hey. ticket <gasps> i got a ticket wow this is a ticket for a summoning event where only four star special raid heroes appear four star special raid All heroes right, then. I guess I'll go ahead and use it. So ends in 84 days. Get a five win in a re so okay, wow. Wait, are they all four star specials? Like you, you can't get a three or four star unit? I think I think you always get a four star special unit, so it's always gonna be a five star. Every arena season? That's wild. Every single week you can get one. Not to mention changing how bonus units work in Arena. The Askers are now completely useless because <laughs> the only reason to build them before was because they cycled in and out as um as Arena bonuses, but now they don't anymore. That slot was taken up by the version units. This is really wild. <laughs> it, it does look like they join you at plus zero, but yeah, we, we, we figured as much. So interestingly, we do not get a free Otherworld Bond. I think when they introduced Forma Souls, we all got a free one. That is not the case with Otherworld Bonds, Otherworld Formas. Yeah, this R feud to do Tiki is interesting. That's not what I expected from this, honestly. I don't know what I expected. I just, I know that I didn't think they were going to allow us to just yoink friend list units. It's actually pretty wild. So you can like coordinate with your friends and just be like, hey, I'm going to make my friend, my, my leading unit this, and then you guys can yoink them if you want. <laughs> Assuming you get them in 
uh, Binding Worlds. I guess there's no guarantee that you'll get them, right? It has to appear randomly. Yeah, they're gonna cost a lot. Get ready to say Yoing Shun's Legendary Makaya, everyone. <laughs> yeah, I mean, as the game ages, the game is like six and a half years old now, right? Or is it five and a half years? I'm not even sure anymore. As the game gets older, it's like they have to keep doing increasingly generous things to to top themselves and to keep us excited and engaged. But yeah, this arena situation is actually insane because this basically means as long as you have a score optimized unit from every version number, then like you're just good. You don't have to train new units anymore you don't have to summon for new units anymore like you don't have to summon for veronica in this case right and you don't have to train the askers i think this might even be the biggest change honestly this might be even bigger than the other world uh uh stones whatever they're called because this just changes arena completely i think score thresholds are gonna get more difficult because now everyone is gonna be able to to rank up potentially do I log into Faye for the first time in forever to let people yoink Hector? <laughs> I would take it. That's a, that's a save armor right there. Yeah, I think save armors are going to be the best way to utilize the, the other world bonds. I don't know what other good use I can think of for them. Because it's like there are so many old armor units that make for good save armors. Hector. Vector. Vector. <laughs> yeah, Duo Sigurd. <laughs> Not the worst idea. Like, there are some units like that that are good as, like, one-offs. Light Realm for Book 6 or Book 7. I think that's the idea. I mean, it's it, it's called... It's based on Vanaheim. I, I forget what they called it in Fae. They called it, like... And she is the goddess of Vanahamer. The... Vanahamer. Sather, Sather. And that one. I mean, it seems cool. Alfheim is Realm of Light, by the way. At least it is in God of War. Yeah, that, that that's my, my frame of reference is, is God of War Realms. I've been watching God of War Ragnarok recently. Oh yeah, let's check out uh, Sather's skills. Stillwater, Chill, Attack Res, and a Perp C slot. She's cutting circulation to her leg. Her weapon's name is her name. <laughs> I just noticed that as well. I will say books... Five and six had like better trailers, I think, just because the music was better. <laughs> Those trailers had really good music. And this trailer has music alright, it's just very different. <laughs> Chapter 13 thing is gonna be fucking goofy, and I can't wait for it to turn into a train wreck. I like it, honestly. Any kind of deviation from what they do literally every year, all the time, is, is welcomed. You dig any music? Fair enough. I like the snake lady. Let's hope by next November she does not get Fafnir'd. <laughs> no, I think she's safe. <laughs> I can think of several reasons why they will probably let us have her. On odd turns, the closest enemies to her in cardinal directions can't move. They get safety fenced. Which seems pretty nuts. It's like, you could compare it to False Start, but it's more like... Like, I'm pretty sure their their skills will still activate. But they can't move. <laughs> so you could force them to waste their dance. You can do a lot of things with this. It's so hard. There are so many good Astro Mythics, it's actually hard for me to make teams sometimes because like I have I have a share at max merge and since I always have to bring her that kind of reduces the flexibility I have like I usually don't have room for Reagan or Plumeria even though they're both really good we have new fates characters so yeah we've been due for a fates banner for a while I was thinking we could still get ready and dawn for this but I guess not but we're still due for some kind of Telius banner so I think we'll get it either next or like the one after Kale Dory's here. She's gonna be really strong. <laughs> I'm assuming. Karagi will not be as good. Although he might have a perf. He doesn't even get a perf? That's dumb. I think Karagi deserves a, a perf bow, right? 
I'm actually kind of mad about this. Because <laughs> he's not going to get a refine for like a million years. He's stuck with Unboundabo forever. Dwyer probably in a similar situation. I'm guessing he does not have a... Oh, he has 8 plus. That's new. Hans is here. Makes sense. He's This is probably a perfect. Like, almost certainly. Artist is Soda Ipe. He returns. God bless. What was the last art that Ipe did? It's been a while, right? Another Axe Grill unit. Yep. I mean, really good art, though. I don't like Hans, but he's <laughs> is a good artist. Like I said, Hans pushed a horse into an abyss, and I cannot forgive that. Rearmed Ophelia. Interesting choice. I guess it makes sense since this whole banner is like child units. We have attack res finish. Res is kind of an interesting choice for her. I guess she doesn't really need speed if she's just going to be proccing Lunas every combat. I wonder if Arcane Eclipse gives special acceleration minus one. I wonder if, if, if that's what's going on here. I wonder if that could possibly be the case here. Yeah, Luna usually has three, so. This new Red Tome is going to be really good. I wonder if the new Book 7 OC has special acceleration. I would bet $100 that Saether has special acceleration. <laughs> they all have it. All of them. Without fail, Hans will have it. Hans might not have it, actually. Small chance he doesn't have it. This book looks cool, by the way. I like how Odin, with his 22 attack, gives birth to Ophelia, who has a million attack. Literally double his attack stat. It's going to be a strong banner. Um, I don't... I actually don't know what I'm going to do, because I do want Ophelia for the red tome. I could give it to Valentine to tell you, but... For the most part, I try to abstain from summoning, unless it's necessary. But then it's like, okay, if I don't summon here, then what about Embla? The trailer for the new banner is up? Okay. Let's, uh... I mean, basically, I, I guess we covered everything. So we can go look at that now. The new friends list update is nice. I didn't think they were actually going to up increase it from 150. I thought 150 was a pretty good number, but I'll take more. Why not? Oh yeah, this situation. So every single week, we can get a free 4-star special, which is actually insane. And like, you can choose what color you get, so you can narrow it down to the ones that you want. This is a really good change. Just helps you to complete old merge projects. So I can use this to to get Ike or Olencia or Duo Ephraim. Yeah, that's actually nuts. Or Bector. Blue is a good color to pull on on here, actually. <laughs> Between Bector and Ephraim. There we go. All right, let's just look at these. Arcane Eclipse, shockingly. Grants Slaying. At start of turn 1, Grants Special Clean on Count minus 1. At start of combat, if you didn't take your P is Grants 25, Grants Ball plus 5 to unit. It makes a guaranteed follow-up attack, and neutralizes penalties on units attacks stat during combat. Seems really good, actually. Just helps you spam specials. I want it for Peleus. <laughs> I want it for Peleus and also Valentine and Titania. Alright, Special Spiral 4. Deals plus 5 damage from special triggers. If special triggers, neutralizes, reduces damage by X percent effects. Oh shit. That's actually huge. Special Spiral 4 is actually a very good B slot for infantry units now. Prodigy Polearm. Extra special trigger. At start of combat, if units HP is greater than 25, grants blah plus 5. Neutralizes effects that guarantees foes follow up attacks. And effects that prevent units follow up attacks. And also reduces foes' attack defense during combat by X percent of unit speed at start of combat. X equals 5 times number of units max HP and stats that are no more than 5 higher than foes' corresponding stats at start of combat. Plus 10. Okay. Alright, give me, give me a minute to process that. And there's no cap on this, I don't think. So for each stat that you have that is lower than the opponent's, yeah, she wants lower speed, but not too low. That's funny. And there's there's no... Okay, so the cap on this percent would be 
35%, I think. Does that mean she can give, like, minus 50 attack? No, not quite. Because it's... Because then, best case scenario, it's 35% of her speed. So if her speed is 50, then she reduces their attack and defense by... Uh... By 20. Which is still a lot. <laughs> Maybe less than 20, like 17. Pretty good perf. Yeah, that's a huge swing, potentially. I mean, like, you're not... It's like you're not always going to get the max percentage. It's like you may as well just max out your speed. So like, more realistically, you're looking at uh, 30% with a high speed stat. Corresponding stats at start of combat. So I think those are visible stats. So she can inflict like in combat debuffs and not have counter synergy with her perf. We know, we know what attack speed hold does. It's pretty good. It's new. 8 plus at start of turn restores 10 HP to ally that's been dealt the most damage. So it's a generic version of Nana's staff, I think. Otherwise, he's very unremarkable. Maybe the first source of speed tactic? Looks like she grants guaranteed follow up as well. Or she grants, like, follow up negation. Alright, what the fuck is going on? Oh, chill attack res 3. Oh, shoot. I missed that. Okay. <gasps> Sather accelerates fucking special trigger. There are three perfs on this banner, and there are three perfs on this banner that accelerate special trigger. Interesting. At start of turn, if unit is within two spaces of an ally, grants the following effect to unit and allies within two spaces of unit for one turn. Foe cannot make a follow-up attack. If unit initiates combat or is within two... Sp oh, oh, that's it. That, that's the whole effect. Okay, so she grants follow-up negation. Additionally, if unit initiates combat or is within two spaces of an ally, grants blah plus five, unit makes the guaranteed follow-up attack, and unit deals damage equal 20% of unit's res. Pretty good. 20% of unit's res is going to be a lot, so she's a highly offensive... Astromythic, which is potentially helpful. But I mean, she also has a pretty good, uh, a pretty good support effect. So you can grant, uh, this is actually pretty good. Because you can just grant, like, folk and make a fall off attack to your tank. She's in the same season as Elamine Astra. It's so far gone. Yeah, a why is Astra so strong? <laughs> Embla would counter her, but she's in the wrong season. Embla would counter her to, to an extent. Because it's like, Sather can just grant follow-up negation to your tank, and that tank can be a save armor, you know? <gasps> Future focused on odd number turns. After foe's start of turn skills trigger, for the closest foes in carnal directions of unit, if unit's res greater than foe's res plus x, x equals distance from unit to foe times three. Oh, that foe's action ends immediately. So you need, you need a lot of res. <laughs> you need a ton of res. A uh, visible res. So Stillwater 4 is perfect for her. I'll probably use a, a trait fruit on my free copy of her, just to give her a plus res IV. She's not going to be able to activate it on Arvel, but you can give her phantom res, so you can more safely afflict it on like everyone else. Big updates. <laughs> I think the highlights for me are Sather as a new Astro Mythic and the free four star special every week. But then also just Arena being completely different now in terms of bonus allies is also a huge deal. Uh, I don't think I'll be pulling on this banner at least. If I do, it'll be for Ophelia for her Tome and for Special Spiral 4. I don't think I need or really want Sather merges. I was saying earlier, my Astro teams are kind of cramped. I won't always have room for Sather. And now, I need to decide if I'm going to pull on the Embla banner. I probably will, honestly. After that, we went right back to playing Pokemon, so I didn't really do a proper send-off. So here we are. Thank you so much for watching this video. I appreciate it. Uh, like the video. Comment. <laughs> are you interested in pulling for any of the new units? Let me know. Personally, I won't be pulling, but right now I'm tentatively planning to summon for Embla so that 
uh, will be streamed on Twitch sometime in the, the next week or so. Join the Discord to stay up to date on everything I'm doing, follow on Twitter, and subscribe here for more fake content. That's going to be it for me. Have a good night, guys.